So Luna's sick, so I need to feed her. Hey guys, so I forgot to do my intro because I'm shitty. So hey guys, welcome back to my actual shitty channel. Shitty ass channel, fuck. It's about a special type of girl. We call her Carly Still. Feed her some medicine. Can you guys hear her meowing? I know, girl. Are you mad at me because you know it's coming? Oh, Sephora's locked in the room. That didn't work out. Oh my gosh, look at the... I can't give Luna her medicine. She's sick. She has like a cold or something. And I can't give her her medicine because I can't open her mouth. <laughs> so, we love that for me. Um, I'm eating breakfast. So, I'm going to have oatmeal. I love the peaches and cream Quaker instant oatmeal. Um, I know it's not the best thing for you, but I love it. It's so good. It tastes so good. Heated up some almond milk. Um, I'm going to put almond milk instead of water in it. More protein, and it just tastes better. You know I have vanilla almond milk? Am I the only person who likes my oatmeal watery? Because that's definitely me. A lot of people hate that, but I love my like my oatmeal. like kind Not like super watery, but like kind of like this. Like where it's like not like super thick i just hate the texture of the thick oatmeal i just can't and i'm gonna put some raspberries in it okay not really sure i'm gonna make a coffee but i'm not really sure if i should be using coke the regular coffee creamer or the coconut vanilla one um i'm really trying to not eat like milk and eggs but eggs are like Eggs are just so good and I love eggs. Like I could totally cut out meat and only have fish and then have eggs, like eggs, fish, and then like dairy. I could totally do that. But I really don't know if I could cut out eggs, which I know everyone says it's kind of like controversy. Like I've been doing a lot of research and like half the scientists say like it's super bad. Half of them say it's super good. Um, I mean, I don't think it could be good for you. Like we're not supposed to be eating chicken eggs. Um, so it can't be good for you, but like, how bad is it you know because i like love eggs like i love scrambled eggs i love an omelet i love sunny side up eggs i love eggs like so much i love eggs and fish i should do that like one week without eating meat only fish anyways i'm gonna make a coffee and i'm not really sure which one i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna use this one because i've been using this for like the past week which by the way is super good if you guys like don't um have if you guys don't drink milk or you guys are like dairy free, this silk coconut for coffee is so good. I got the vanilla flavored. It's like specifically for coffee. It is so good. Um, it's like creamy. Oh my, it's so, I could literally drink this. Like it's so good. Um, so yeah. So I definitely can't be the only one that does this. Literally, I bought these like obviously reusable Starbucks cup, but sometimes like if I look really cute that day, I know this one's so insane. Sometimes if I look cute that day and I'm going out like to the mall, I'll buy a Starbucks drink just to like look cute, you know, like walk around with the Starbucks drink. <laughs> I know I sound so stupid, but I feel like somebody does this. It can't just be me. Like, or I'll get like a Starbucks drink. Like I won't get a Starbucks drink if I'm just coming home. Well, I will sometimes, but like, so I bought these cups and sometimes I just put like water in it and I'm like, yeah, I'm bougie. Like I'm having Starbucks. I can afford Starbucks every day of my life. Um, but I'm having coffee and I'm going to put it in this because yeah, I just like to like look like I'm having Starbucks even when I'm not. And I think it helps me not spend money because a lot of the times I literally get Starbucks for the cup, like actually, um, except I do love their caramel macchiatos and I love their caramel Oh my gosh, what is it called? Somebody comment it down below. I really need to know what it is. I got it the other day at Starbucks. It's like an apple cider cinnamony drink with caramel in it or something. It's so good. It tastes like legit winter in your fucking mouth. It's better than sex. It will make you orgasm. It will make your mouth wet. You will come. Okay, thank you. Bye. So I have these little Starbucks pods right here and then I put it in my tray. And then I always add an espresso shot because I can literally drink three co coffees and then go to bed. The only thing that works for me is espresso, so. 
I have this espresso maker and I always make it and then keep it cold um, cuz I don't know sometimes I just like oh okay sometimes I just like to take a shot of espresso um, like sometimes I'll just like pour it in a cup put a little bit of cream and chug it and it like it hits me so quickly it's like literally like doing a shot of alcohol except it like makes you so wired for sound so if I really need to do something and I'm not motivated I just take a shot of this so that's why I always keep it cold just so I could take a shot and I usually like cold iced coffee so I usually just put this some ice and then some creamer and make like a latte um, but this is so cheap it's like 20 bucks off Amazon um, and then I just get like coffee espresso coffee beans off Amazon and then you blend them up to make them like fine literally any blender and then you just use this and it's like amazing it's literally guys I need to show you this this is some like real espresso right there so I'm gonna pour that in first Okay, so this is like a four cup espresso, so I usually just put half of it in there. So it's like two espresso shots. So look how dark and black and nice that coffee is. So then I still have two for a couple other days. Or sometimes I'll take it like at nighttime when I have to edit, especially right now for Vlogmas. I have to edit at nighttime and oh my gosh, girl, it makes me so tired. Okay. Ew, why is it so freaking dirty? <laughs> I literally, <laughs> I'm so fucking nasty. So, um, first of all, look how dark my coffee is. It's such, oh, this coffee is so good. Um, and then we have my peaches and cream oatmeal with the raspberries and the almond milk. And then we have alcohol. I'm just kidding. I'm not drinking alcohol. This is my Invisalign. I'm literally fucking nasty. I have a brush. The reason why it's so messy right now is because we're currently re renovating my apartment. So I don't have a kitchen table, so I have to eat here. And, like, we're just kind of throwing things on whatever table we can find. So, yeah. Um, not having alcohol for breakfast, <laughs> I promise. If I ever do, please send me to fucking rehab. Um, but I'm just gonna add some of this and then that's my breakfast. I was supposed to diet today <laughs> I was supposed to diet like four actually I was supposed to diet after my surgery, which was almost a year ago <laughs> But I haven't started yet. So we're gonna start next year. Okay. Okay Okay guys, so I just did my makeup my eye is hella red. I don't know why I think I got something in it while I was doing my makeup I don't know. It's really freaking me out actually It looks like I like broke a blood vessel or something it's freaking me out. I'm getting anxiety. Anyways, um, I'm getting this like custom portrait of Loon, I'm at, of Sephora where it has like a bunch of books. So it's like Louis Vuitton, Chanel and stuff and then she's on top of it. So I'm trying to get a picture of her because they said that they could do it as long as I get a picture of her like sitting properly. So I have this one maybe. I don't know. I don't know how I want her to sit but I like this one like when her neck is up. I don't know. But it's gonna look so cute. I'm so excited. Um, I wonder how big they can make it because I want it to be like the main picture in my apartment. It's gonna look so cute. Literally, I can't. And she matches my aesthetic, so we love that. So I've been trying to take pictures of her all day. She's actually like pretty good at just sitting normally. So, yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Um, so today I think I'm just gonna like clean and stuff. Because the apartment's like, obviously it's messy because we're re like we're renovating and stuff. But I need to like clean to like bring all the cardboard down and like stuff like that and organize it. So especially our room because it's so messy. Um, so that's what we're doing. And I forgot to give Luna her medicine last night. And I tried to give it to her this morning, but I need Connor's help because I can't open her mouth by myself. I already tried, as you guys could see in the beginning of the video. Come here, Sephora. Come here. Guys, this is so hard. I need her to sit up. Girl! Okay, enough with this for a minute. Okay, well, obviously this isn't working out. <laughs> um, 
I think I'm just gonna use the first one. I'm just gonna watch her all day because she sits like that pretty often. I just have to watch her. I'm trying to get her, like it doesn't really matter what background she's on, but I'm trying to make it easier for like the artist to draw her. I think I might use this one. This one's really, really cute. I don't know. She's just so adorable. I can't wait. Hey girl. She's playing with everything. She's been so hyper the past couple of days. I don't know why. So I'm gonna clean the apartment and I look so like white right now. So I'm gonna clean the apartment and um, see if I could get this somewhat not so dirty because I feel bad for the cats because I have to like walk over everything and it's just stressing me out and they're coming to paint in two days so yeah. Tomorrow is the last day we have to clean and take everything off of the walls before they come and paint so. Babe. Hey. Guess what the top comment is on my video. On your video? Yeah. No, hold on. What? So sad how Carly is setting up tables. Also, she's sick and Connor is just playing video games. Oh my god. <laughs> too. And I helped her set up the table a little bit. Oh. You didn't film that. I asked if you wanted to help me, you said no. OMG, I understand Carly now. Connor legit sat and played video games the whole time. Are you winning? No, I'm gonna go set up a table. <laughs> we don't have any more to set up. Okay, so right now I am going to follow some shrimp and throw out some salmon. Throw out, thaw out some salmon. <laughs> um, so yeah. What I like to do when I get like frozen food, obviously, which I feel like everyone does this is not a trick. I just open it and then I separate it. Obviously, this is not. Why am I telling you guys this? Like, I'm so innovative. <laughs> I separate my frozen food <laughs> so I can thaw one at a time. <laughs> what if I fuck? Like, this is my life. Like, this is my job. Showing you guys how to thaw out fucking fish. <laughs> and everyone does this. Like, it's a normal thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I've been obsessed with salmon recently. Salmon and rice. And like a bunch of vegetables in it, which isn't that bad for you. I am such a like a fish person. I love fish. So there's just a bunch of them in here. I'm gonna thaw out probably two of them. I I usually like to cook like two and then make two servings out of it and then keep one in the fridge for the next day. Um but so I'm gonna put them in sections of two so I can just take them out of the sorry guys, the dishwasher's going. I'll stop it for you for the video for a second. Um, I like to thaw out two at a time because I like, I don't know, I'm really like, a lot of people like cook for the whole week, like f meat and stuff and fish, and I just can't do that. Like it just, I can't eat fish or chicken or anything after like two days. Like it, I feel like I'm going to get food poisoning. Even though it's okay for like three or four, I just can't do it. I can't. So I just put them in sections of two so that when I'm ready, I just pull them out and thaw them. So, and then with my, so I'm gonna put these, and it saves a lot of room. So those are in the freezer. This one is gonna thaw, so I'm gonna put it in some cold water in a second. And then I'm gonna thaw some shrimp. I love putting shrimp in my salad. I literally just put lettuce and shrimp in it, and then like a bunch of vegetables. Um, I also like putting shrimp with noodles and rice, so. These are already cooked, so you literally just have to thaw them, and then I usually heat them up on the pan before I throw them into the stir fry or whatever I'm making. I really like shrimp in my Caesar salad, so I usually buy like the pre kit, the pre-made Caesar salad kits, and then I just throw in the thawed shrimp, and it's like so easy and so good. And then I squeeze like a lemon on top, so good. But romaine lettuce was on recall this mm. past like month, I guess. Um, all in like. Michigan, Ontario, um, Ohio, I think even. Um, so a lot of places like that were on recall. So when you go into the store, all of the romaine lettuce is gone. So, and that's what, what you make a Caesar salad with. So since that's gone, all everyone has to buy iceberg lettuce. Well, because everyone has to buy iceberg lettuce, that's all sold out. And they bumped up the price to like $3 for a, a thing of, of um, iceberg lettuce, which is insane. It's usually like, 99 cents or like a dollar 50 so i think they knew everyone was gonna have to buy that so that sold out and then they bumped up the price for that so i finally got my hands on one um because i haven't been able to eat like any lettuce i mean there's a bunch of different kinds of lettuce like um there's like 
butter lettuce, is that what it's called? Or like Boston something lettuce? I don't know. But I only, I'm really picky with lettuce and I like spinach, but I don't, I add spinach into my salad, but I don't like eating just salad, like spinach salad, so yeah. I usually thaw about this much, which is a good, which is also good for like two days. So I just separate these into little bags. And then I'll be good. So I'm just gonna do this and I'll show you guys whatever I do next in the day. I don't know. I'm making it chicken for Connor. Me versus your ex. Me versus everyone. Me versus you. Me versus everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna post clips of you playing Fortnite all day in between every single thing I do so people just talk shit. So the chicken is done, the rice is cooking. If you guys don't have a rice cooker, it's like the best thing ever. You literally just throw the rice in there with some water, call it a day, you could put spices in there, you could put tomatoes in there, you could put vegetables in there, you could put turmeric in there, you could put chicken broth in there, you could put anything with your rice and it'll just boil it and just cook the shit out of it and it's so good. But yeah, so this is the chicken, it's all done. So right now, I'm gonna unload the dishwasher. Um, I'm frying up some onions to put on my progies, and then for dinner, I'm probably gonna have salmon and rice. Um, I don't know, I forgot we had progies, so that's why I'm gonna eat them right now. And yeah, I have rice already cooked for tonight. I don't know if I should have progies now or have progies later and have salmon now. I don't really know. But here's the chicken, I'm gonna put that in the fridge. And babe's eating the food I made, and I'm on. I'm gonna unload the dishwasher and load the dishwasher. So this is supposed to be our nightstand. Um, I don't want to put it together. I have my knife just because I want to see what it looks like. But it's supposed to be our side table. I don't know if I even want it anymore. Um, depending on how it looks and matches the room. I don't know. I might return it because I'm not really sure. I don't know. So I took off my lashes and my I've been rubbing my eyes so they're like almost all my makeup's off. I've just been too lazy to go out, wash it off, but I'm just not feeling well. I feel like I might be getting more sick. Like I don't know. Like I just feel like I don't feel more stuffy. I don't feel literally my makeup's everywhere. I don't give a fuck. I don't feel more stuffy. I don't feel like I don't feel more sick, but I feel more tired. Like I almost feel like I'm getting a fever, but like I don't feel like my symptoms are getting worse if that makes any sense Like I feel like my symptoms are getting better Like I'm not as stuffy as I was a couple days ago, but my body and like my head feels really tired Like I feel super exhausted. I feel super weak. Um, I don't know if my body's just sore from moving so many, many things Oh crap <laughs> It's so bad. I was just rubbing my eye and like Um, so I don't know imagine if I did my makeup like this <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's just sore and tired because I've been moving things and I've been like organizing a lot I mean, I haven't done that much um, A lot of the moving my dad did but I did lift a lot of boxes and I've been putting together things that I guess like my body's just not used to and then I'm also leaning on the wall because we have no chairs um, We only have two bar stools which aren't really Nice to sit on so I've been leaning on the back of this and I feel like maybe that's messing up my back too. I'm just really sore, like my hands are sore, my whole body's sore and I'm super tired and my voice is super raspy. I just feel like I can't breathe properly, I don't know. I'm probably just giving myself anxiety or something. Um, but I'm watching How I Met Your Mother. If you guys don't know, that is my favorite show. I watch it like too much. Like, it's my favorite show, it helps me with anxiety. Every single time I have anxiety, I put on How I Met Your Mother and it like calms me down. Or I watch YouTube. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I just feel like super dizzy and like super just weird. I just feel like I can't breathe, like I don't know, not like I can't breathe through my nose, like I feel like I'm not getting oxygen, like, like you don't have a panic attack and you're like, you're breathing but you feel like you're not like getting the actual air like into your body, that's how I feel right now. But I'm not having an anxiety attack, I'm just laying down, I really don't know. Um, I just ate a tuna sandwich and uh, flaming Hot Funyuns, okay, that's great, Carly. I'm gonna go shower after this, I promise. Um, but I've been obsessed with flaming Hot Funyuns. So good. Um, as you can tell, I'm super healthy. Um, and yeah, so... I don't know, guys, I've just been, like, 
going through some shit. I don't know. Not even like, it's not even like serious. I just like, I don't know. People are sending me messages like saying, Carly, like in your last video, you said you haven't been yourself and we can tell. And I just feel so bad that I haven't been myself and I'm trying so hard, but I don't want to fake it on camera. Like, I'm getting better. Like, today I was in a good mood and yesterday I was in a good mood, but right now, I don't know. Like, I just feel. I don't know like I just I, I look I just feel like I don't like I'm not eating healthy I'm not working enough I'm like I know I have to do things but I just lay down I don't know I don't like dr I don't like doing makeup every day today I tried to do my makeup and yesterday just to make me feel better um but like the past like year I've only done my makeup like if I needed to like I've filmed so many vlogs so many videos without makeup on and like that's not me like I used to just love doing my makeup every day I used to love my body like I don't know just something's I don't know like I'm not depressed um well, I mean I might be but I'm not like depressed depressed where like I think I just have like mild depression right now I always get seasonal depression um, because it's so dark like right now it got dark at 5 it was like pitch black I thought it was like 10 so I don't know I, we only get like 5 or 6 hours of daylight and then it's like dark and it's just so like it's like I feel like I have to get everything done in like 5 hours um, but I don't know I'm just I don't I don't know I'm just not me and it's gonna make me cry I don't know, I'm just struggling and I don't know what's wrong with me. But I'm not gonna cry, I'm gonna be a strong ass bitch. <laughs> Carly, you're a strong ass bitch who loves to eat and there's food and you have a cute cat. So suck those pussy ass tears back in, you stupid bitch. Thank you. <laughs> you know the, you know those videos where like people are crying and they're like <laughs> I think it's so fucking funny. Anyways, okay, no tears. I almost started crying, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna have a fucking meltdown, okay? I don't post, then I post shitty music, and then I just cry on YouTube. Like, that's gonna be, and then I have a toxic relationship. My fucking career is gonna come to a fucking end. Anyways, that's it for my vlog. Sorry, it was kind of boring. They're all gonna be kind of boring because I'm just renovating and just doing dumb shit. But these are the kind of videos I like to watch. I like to just watch people do their day and it gives me something to listen to while I'm like doing my makeup and cleaning and stuff. So yeah, that's it for my video. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys want a tutorial on this, let me know. I love you guys so much and stay confident. Bye beautiful.